Hi friends, it's me, Miss Erin, from C.C. Meller Memorial Library. I'm here for another family story time with you this morning. I thought we could read some books and play some games with counting. Sound like fun? Let's get started. Let's take our wiggle wiggle fingers way up in the sky. Wiggle wiggle fingers. Wave them all bye-bye. Wiggle, wiggle fingers. Fold them in a ball. Throw them in your lap. And do not let them fall. All right. Our first book today is called Ducks Away. And it's by Mem Fox and Judy Horacek. Ooh, that's so yellow, just like our ducks. Ducks away! One fine day, a mother duck waddled onto a bridge. A fluffy yellow duckling followed right behind. Actually, it was two little ducks. No, it was three little ducks. Wait, it was one, two, three, four little ducks. <gasps> what? It was one, two, three, four, five little ducks. Except just then, a sudden gust of wind swept the last little duck right into the river below. Plop! Oh no! quacked Mother Duck. What should I do? Where should I go? With four on the bridge and one down below. One of the other little ducks decided to take a look and he toppled into the river below. <gasps> Plop. Oh no, quacked mother duck. What should I do? Where should I go? With three on the bridge and two below. Then another little duck peered over the edge and she toppled into the river below. Plop! Oh no, quacked Mother Duck. What should I do? Where should I go? With two on the bridge and three below. Then another little duck peeked over the edge and she toppled into the river below. Plop! Look, one, two, three, four. Oh no, quacked Mother Duck, what should I do? Where should I go? With one on the bridge and four below. Then the last little duck foolishly lost his footing and he tumbled into the river as well. Plop! Mother Duck looked down. The five little ducks looked up. One, two, three, four, five. Right, said Mother Duck. I know what to do and I know where to go. I'll have to fly down to the river below. She stepped slightly forward and she stepped slightly back. The five little ducks said, quack, quack, quack. Then the first little duck said, mom, go with the flow. Five, four, three, two, one, go! And Mother 
duck flew to the river below. Plop! Quack, said the five little ducks. You're back! There they all are. Mama duck and one, two, three, four, five little ducklings. That's the end. That was a good one. All right, I have a song for you today. You ready to see my song? My song is about a hollow log. Do you know what's inside my hollow log? Do you wanna take a look with me? Let's take a look. One, two, three, four, five frogs. Look, there's our five again. In fact, we have five green and speckled frogs sitting on a hollow log. You can do this song with me at home. If you don't have your own five green and speckled frogs, you can use your five fingers, even if they're not green and speckled, you can pretend. All right, so our song goes, five green and speckled frogs sat on a hollow log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are four green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Let's count them again. One, two, three, four. Four green and speckled frogs sat on a hollow log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are three green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. All right, let's count them again. One, two, three. Three green and speckled frogs sat on a hollow log eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are two green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Can, we, can you count them again with me? One, two. Two green and speckled frogs sat on a hollow log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there is one green speckled frog. Glub, glub. Can you count it with me this time? One. One green and speckled frog sat on a hollow log, eating the most delicious bugs. Yum, yum. One jumped into the pool where it was nice and cool. Now there are no green speckled frogs. Glub, glub. Look, we have no frogs left. We have zero frogs. Look at that, they all jumped into the pool. Do you wanna say goodbye to them one more time before we go? Pop! <gasps> goodbye, 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 goodbye! All right, but before I go, I have one more story for you. This book is called Stack the Cats, and it's by Susie Gawramani. Look at these cats. Stack the cats. Look, they're all stacked on top of each other. 
one cat sleeps. Two cats play. One, two. Three cats stack. One, two, three. Four cats teeter. One, two, three, four. Five cats totter. One, two, three, four, five. Six cats prefer two stacks of three cats. Look, we have one, two, three, four, five, six cats. Seven cats <sighs> nap. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think one of those cats isn't asleep. Can you find the cat that's still awake? Look, this one in the middle is winking at us. Oh man, eight cats try. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But, ah, eight cats tumble. But um, nine cats agree to three, three, and three. What do you think? Do we have nine here? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine cats. Ten cats are just too many. That's a lot of cats. So, Oh, one cat sleeps. Mm. Two cats climb up and away. Two cats hide. And two cats seek. And three cats Stack. One, two, three. How will you stack the cats? Look at all those cat stacks. That's the end. Ooh, how many cats are in this last stack? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and a ribbon. My goodness. All right, th friends, thanks for coming to story time with me today. I will see you next Tuesday, right here at 1030 for another family story time. Until then, have a good week. <laughs>